Um, so let's have a look. Contour and definition in the cheekbone. A lift in the lip area. Slight raise more than normal in my right side there. The lifted jawline towards the ear, whereas this one has stayed more uh, flat. <laughs> my lovelies and welcome to a new video and today's video is actually going to be a tutorial style video uh, following on from my new face review uh, which I will leave linked up above so I'm not going to get too much into the new face and how it's changed my face if you want to see the before and afters as I have gone through the 60 day trial period you can watch that video to see all of that uh, but today I'm actually going to be going through my routine and how I have been using it for for at least half a year now if not beyond that maybe three quarters of a year I've been using it and since I have finished that trial period I'm just using it three days a week for maintenance so I can report back officially now that I have been using it three days a week that I have been seeing the permanent results and therefore I don't have to be using it five days a week like I was previously which was a lot of hard work but the results are worth it because now I'm actually seeing the permanent contouring and lift in my face so when I actually do my new face now there's not as much of a huge dramatic difference but that's because I have worked these muscles so hard so a little background on the new face so I keep it in this handy little pouch here and I recommend just grabbing a little cosmetic bag to keep everything in one place so you don't lose any bits and pieces I purchased it in a trinity pack from Mecca Cosmetica which is a cosmetic store in Australia and it came with uh, a gel primer, obviously a smaller version, but I've obviously gone to repurchase this in a larger size. And it came with obviously the New Face device and the LEE attachment and also a um, LED light attachment. And I haven't used that particular part of it because I have my own LED light already. What this device does in a nutshell is work the muscles in your face and contour them. So does it get rid of fine lines and wrinkles? This particular device, no, but I did mainly buy this to get rid of some of the deep setting wrinkles that are starting to come through the nasolabial folds here. And I have found, and it's especially with this attachment here, that by really working the cheek muscles around here that I've seen less of a fold because I have lifted this muscle and obviously made it work harder and become more uh, prominent and therefore it has taken that uh, fold just it's just taken the prominence of that fold away slightly um, so I am really pleased with the results I have to say now the main focus for this video and why I'm going to be going into depth into this tutorial is that you really need to uh, focus your routine on the areas that you want to work the most. For example, I concentrate more generally on this area here and the forehead and even the eyes because it's not so much of a problem area for me, but the area around the mouth uh, and the cheeks and the nasolabial fold, I really do spend that extra time working those areas. So you can tailor your new face experience to work for you and your particular uh, facial concerns or skincare concerns. My particular routine will take you 30 minutes out of your day. I generally like to do this routine in the morning if possible because that's where you really do see the dramatic effects and you can enjoy them through the rest of your day. Whereas you do it the night before and you sleep on it and you wake up, the results may sort of fade a slightly. But again, because I've done the 60 day period, um, my results are becoming way Way more permanent now that I'm just maintaining it. Um, another thing as well to take note of, uh, make sure that your skin is fully cleansed before commencing your treatment. I am currently using uh, this cleanser by Aspect. It's the Purestat 5 cleanser and I do change up my cleansers but at the moment I've really been enjoying this because it doesn't really strip the skin and still leaves it nice and hydrated but very soft at the same time. But also I know it has taken away the majority of the oil 
as obviously this is a water-based gel and this is an electromagno current device and obviously water and electricity absolutely gel together and create that flow that current flow into the muscle and you want to really get the most out of your new face routine by getting that direct current directly into the muscle and really stimulating and working it um, so please do go and buy the gel primer which is a water-based primer don't go putting any oily serums or anything on your face because that will really just your treatment just won't work basically that that's that's in, in a nutshell so i haven't got any makeup on today so i have just a bit of uh, lip gloss and a little bit of concealer just so i don't look as tired as i really am in real life on camera um and what else did i want to tell you little personal handy tips that I'd like to pass on to you before commencing this routine is to really make it an experience. This is meant to be a luxury me time facial experience for you to enjoy in the comfort of your own home. So do go to that extra effort to, you know, light your aromatherapy or light a candle or put your favorite soft music on or even watch a bit of telly or catch up on your YouTube or whatever you wanted to do in the background and really make it an enjoyable, relaxing experience, which it is. Another handy tip, um, please don't be slack and use a mirror. I always keep a little compact in this bag just to always guide me whilst I'm doing my treatment. As I find when I'm not using a mirror to guide me, I actually may miss those target areas or, you know, miss those points that I really, really want to get that new face into. Another thing, get quite firm with this. You don't have to worry about stretching or pulling the skin too much, except obviously around the delicate eye area, but don't be afraid to really, really get in there and hold it and push that muscle up. Uh, that will also make your treatment way more effective. Another thing as well, I always keep in the back of my mind uh, what the founder says when she does all her tutorials on Instagram and on YouTube is sloppy workout, a sloppy result. So that is exactly the same for when you do your workouts or even in your work or employment or anything you do in life. If you do it sloppily, you're going to get those sloppy results. If you really want to see the benefits of this device, you have to do it properly, thoroughly. That's why my routine takes half an hour and I don't mind spending that time to ward off the signs of aging, which we all are. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial to reveal a younger, healthier looking complexion. <laughs> so I begin here my routine by pumping a generous amount of primer onto my hands. I then apply it to the section of my face that I'm going to be working on first. It's best to apply this gel in sections as it does tend to dry out. When you turn your device on, a blue light will appear and you can adjust the strength of the microcurrent by moving the plus or the minus. I personally use mine on the strongest setting. I start my routine with the cheek area, gliding it along the jawline, then from the lip to the hairline, and then from the lip just to the temples. Repeat each move three times. Next we are popping the cheekbone, so moving it slowly along the jaw just to under the cheekbone and holding for one beep, then moving it along to the centre and then towards the end of your jaw upwards to make this move into three sections. Here I turn my device vertically and I start moving the device between my jawline and the cheekbone just to give it that extra pop, so the co-founder says often, um, just to really define that cheekbone area. And I do this in four sections of my face and then repeat three times. Now to define that jawline. So grab some more gel primer and just run it along the chin and the jaw. Moving the device in four sections just along the jawline and repeating for three times. Now we are moving on to lifting that forehead and just applying more gel primer and running the device in three sections along the middle and sides of the forehead just to near the temple and holding for one beep. 
time to change attachments. Turn off your device before doing this and then simply press the button on the back and the top should pop off, releasing it. Then grab your ELE attachment, press that button again to attach and then set it to the highest setting if that's the level that you're at. This attachment is to focus on the finer areas of your face. So now we are going to work the brow and under eye area. Working from the outside in, gently move the device from the corner of your eye to near the nose and repeat this movement three times. Then moving to just under the brow, move it along three times over and holding for one beat. Then just to give the brows that extra pop, move it along the brow area in three sections and hold for one beat. Do the same for the upper brow, holding for one beep in three sections. Now for my favourite part and the part that I feel makes the most difference to my face and that is the lip and cheek area or nasolabial fold area and you want to apply a generous amount of primer here as you will be holding each movement for three beeps so just above the lip just under the cheekbone take it to the outside of the cheekbone then to the corners of the lip lifting up then to the outer and then just under the lip Repeat this three times over. Okay, so I have just completed the right side of my face and um, as you would have heard me narrating, I was holding for extra lengths of time uh, for this area here as this is my problem area and the area that I wanted to focus on. I also did some extra holds along the cheekbones as well and also extra work around the eye area by repeated movements. Um, so let's have a look. The main difference you can see after you do one side of your face is to smile. As you can see here, I can already see way more contour and definition in the cheekbone and also a lift in the lip area and a just slight raise more than normal in my right side there and as you can see the jawline especially you can see the lifted jawline towards the ear whereas this one has stayed more uh, flat so you can definitely see the immediate results of using this even though I have now sustained some results but still after that period I get that little facelift in the morning which is an absolute buzz <laughs> to just look that little bit more lifted and awake and this is me without makeup so I can go the rest of my day now with just a bit of a tinted SPF and I, sh I should be fine but obviously I'm going to do the other side of my face um a few things to note here, which I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. Uh, all movements that you will be doing will be repeated for three times, and that is very essential. Please do not do them just the once. You do need that repetition of at least three times to uh, really penetrate the muscle and work that particular area is something you should note. And was there anything else? And another thing you should note is really hold and lift. So sustain that movement. And that's why I always recommend using a little hand mirror or a, or a dressing table mirror. Um, make sure whenever you do a movement, don't lapse your arm and get lazy with it because then you will actually start to contour your face in the wrong way and it can go backwards. So basically you are lifting and holding where you want to see the lift and hold. So you don't have to do my exact routine to get these results. You can do it however way you wish, but whatever area you want to see contoured and lifted, make sure you really lift and 
hold and make sure you sustain that movement and don't get lazy because then you will get the wrong contour with a very kind of misshapen face <laughs> another thing as well i do not use it on the neck now it is recommended apparently it's safe to use in the neck um i think i've mentioned before i have thyroid issues and i've had little lumps and bumps pop up so this is not an area that i want to be putting any electromagnetic uh things on um although it has got clearance to use so if you feel comfortable doing that that is completely your call uh, but since the neck has a lot of glands and bits in there that are really important i just don't want to mess with anything in that area personally uh, but there is neck routines out there which you can look obviously on youtube and online uh, which is a reason why I don't do the neck area, but obviously you're very welcome to do so. Uh, now I'm going to continue with the left side of my face just on a time lapse. So in a flash, we'll be done. And then I will just talk you through some extra bits uh, before we head out of this tutorial. <laughs> glimpse of what I'll be applying for my daily skincare routine and what I'm using right now. Oh, okay everyone, I am now looking a lot more awake and a lot more contoured and, oh, excuse the shine, lifted. And the great thing about um, the gel primer is that it contains a ton of hyaluronic acid which we all know plumps and gets rid of those fine lines and wrinkles and just holds that water retention in your skin so i leave this on as skincare after i apply it and do my new face so that's all nice and sunk in now i'm just going to rub in those extra bits and pieces and i'm going to remove my jewelry now just have a bit of a quick chat just to wrap up this video and i'm going to just apply my daily skincare um, so basically with the new face, you want to always be uh, using it at the highest level you can possibly tolerate. When I began using this product, I uh, started off at level one because I just found, you know, the shock a little bit too much. But also another thing to note is that if you're not using enough primer, uh, you can feel those little electric shocks a bit more. And also if you have a little bit of, you know, what they call, I'm not sure what they call it now, bum fluff, little facial hairs, that also adds to the um, <laughs> bit of a zing that you might get. So just be really liberal with your gel primer. Don't be afraid to use it. And again, it doubles up the skincare. So who wouldn't want all that extra hydration anyway? Um, another thing as well, just remember to pull and hold and really sustain that movement and don't get laps as, th as then your results will vary as well. And I recommend using it, as I said before, in terms of the level of um, the amount of power you want to put um, into your face. I now use it on level five and I highly recommend using that to get the maximum results out of your device. Take your time, people. There is no rush. And remember that one beep is basically one whole movement. So you want to be doing each movement sustaining for that beep. If you have an area you want to target specifically, I recommend holding it from one to three beeps, whatever that area may be. Again, my areas are here where I actually hold for a full three beeps, which is absolutely ages, but <laughs> absolutely necessary to target my problem area. And you can take, you know, that moment to practice your deep breathing and relaxation. During that routine, I was absolutely taking deep breaths and just taking that time to enjoy the peace um, and the relaxation that it was giving me as well. And I can honestly say as a device, it has absolutely changed the shape of my face. Not, I guess, primarily, but secondarily, it really has given me that lift that I so desired and was seeking um, in my face, but obviously didn't want to go down the path of injectables or any of that stuff. I'm really not ready to face any of that stuff. And hopefully I never will. You never know. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it is out there and it is something that I guess I may look into in the future. But in the meantime, my new face is absolutely doing it for me. And the co-founder, who apparently 
has had nothing done to her face. Um, you know, she's in her 40s and she looks absolutely fantastic. And I know that she uses it quite uh, often, if not daily, and um, she just looks amazing. So the more that you use it, the uh, greater your results and permanent sustainable results will be. But that is it for me lovelies thank you for coming along for this video please do give this a thumbs up uh, and subscribe recommend it to your friends i hope it was really helpful um, now this is a very in-depth routine you can always have that amount if you're short on time or do it in the evenings or fit it into your day whenever you can but i do highly recommend using this very full in-depth tutorial again if you want to maximize your results because there's no point doing something half-heartedly and then not you know, or spending that time and then not achieving anything. So I highly recommend doing the full routine where and when you can and fit it into your day, daily routine. Um, so thank you very much, guys. And as you can see, uh, my skincare head has just sat beautifully on top of the uh, gel primer. If you want to shop any of the items that I have featured in this video, they will be linked in the description box down below. So please do go check it out, including what I am wearing. And I am ready to continue on with the rest of my day. Thanks for sticking around, my lovelies. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.